Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see about a new application from Apple called Freeform that will be available with the release of iOS 16.2. Possibly in a couple of months, we will see the official release. And right now, Apple released it for developers and public beta testers. It is not recommended to install the beta version in your primary iPhone and iPad, even though it looks and feels stable compared to the 16.1, you know, the 16.1 is the stable release that Apple have done just a week before and the 16.2 brings all those changes plus some additional bug fixes, security fixes and some stability improvements and minor tweaks here and there to the existing feature. It is still not recommended to install it because if there is any apps crash or problems then you have to wait for another beta update or official update in order to see some fix to the problems. And here the freeform application from the name itself we can see that it is going to be an application where you can do sketchworks, drawings you know a mind mapping kind of tool and whatever the creative idea that comes in your mind at any time you can draw them or use any readily available shapes texts and markup tools you know to completely craft your idea with iCloud synchronization as well if you have iPad you can use the Apple pencil and do more in iPhone you have to use your finger to draw and you know to do any sketch or drawing related works with the freeform application this is going to be a very useful application you know since uh, the last year's WWDC Apple have demonstrated so many features and with each major release of iOS 16 we are seeing that Apple is you know clearing out their checklist by releasing these apps and features the shapes that are available here you know readily you can use from various categories and here I just pulled up a skeleton from the available shapes list under science category and I can you know simply pinpoint any specific area of the sketch work you know that I just dropped within this application and not just the shapes you can you know create anything you can include images photos from your photos application you can use your camera to take a picture or you can use a sticky note type of you know uh, readily available uh, sticky note type of yellow uh, notes and you can add any values inside that any texts inside that and you can create a complete workflow and share it with your friends and family members or colleagues you know uh, who can be easily accessing all these and they can collaborate and they can share their inputs inside with the shared section so this is you know more like the interface reminds us with the notes application or pages application it does more than taking notes and the purpose of free form is really amazing you know as you can see just like any other the cloud services that we normally use it updates all the changes that we make in one uh, device into the other device in a real-time way through the iCloud syncing feature so people who have joined the shared notes you know will immediately see all the changes that you're making in real time and they can share their inputs at the same time that is going to be the beautiful part with this freeform application and I'm very sure this will definitely be one of the very useful and favorite productive application and there are several third-party mind mapping or brainstorming applications available still when we have something on our you know the Apple's built-in feature with freeform type of application within our iPhone or iPad I think people may start to use it explore and see how effective it is going to be for their everyday usage so what do you think about this freeform application and I will bring another video about the iOS 16.2 changes and if you have any questions related to iPhone iPad and Mac don't forget to search our channel to find solutions faster thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful day